Hi, my name is Scott Sellers, and I am accompanied here with Andrea Thorstensen. We are both PhD students at the Center for Hydrometeorology and Remote Sensing, University of California, Irvine. We're going to give a brief introduction and tutorial to our geo server hosted at CHRS. This server provides access to near global, four kilometer resolution precipitation estimates derived from our in house algorithm, Persian CCS. Persian CCS stands for Precipitation estimation from remote sensing information using artificial neural networks cloud classification system. This server is based on the implementation of open source University of Minnesota map server software package and is in collaboration with NASA, NOAA NESDIS, and at the international level, the Global Water and Development Information for Arid Lands program with UNESCO. We have web pages that describe both our motivation and objectives, which is under the Research Area tab, Satellite Precipitation, and Introduction. Uh, this page describes our motivation and why we want to use satellite information to derive precipitation estimates. We also have web pages that describe in more depth our Persian system, uh, which is under the same Research Area tab. Uh, this page has a number of links and references for anyone interested in the details of our method. Returning to the home page, you can access our Geo server by clicking on the GWADI map server icon near the top left hand corner of our home page. You can see this link here. Andrea is now going to give you the tutorial of the functionality of our Geo server. We'll start by zooming into a region of interest using our cursor and drawing a rectangle on our specified area. We'll look at West Africa since there's something interesting going on. Here we can see our three hour precipitation totals. And when we click watershed, we also see our watershed outlines um, that appear in green. Now we can look at other uh, precipitation total amounts. For example, here's our 24 hour totals. And we can go all the way up to uh, 72 hour precipitation totals. For now, we'll just go back to our three hour rainfall. We can easily add a map legend by clicking on the map legend bar at the top. And now we see our uh, bar scale for our precipitation as well as our basins and countries outlined. Now say we want to query a specific point. We simply click the query info button at the top, click on a point that we're interested in, and we'll get a nice little summary about that point. Now we see our 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and 72 hour totals of our pixel in surrounding pixels, and also monthly totals. Now let's explore other ways to query our data. We can query by our country, major basins, etc. We're going to query by watersheds right now. So we'll click in on this watershed, and now we have our uh, digital report summary for this watershed. Each watershed has a unique international identification number. Now in this report we can see our heaviest precipitation within the watershed as well as our accumulated precipitation like we saw before. We can also look at some basic basin characteristics such as land cover areas in our watershed, aridity distribution, as well as elevation within our watershed. Now to get these files we click the button at the top, Get Recent Precipitation Files. And here are our files listed for our basin, 3 hours, 6 hours, 12 hours, etc. So that's how you obtain a digital report for a specific watershed. We've already demonstrated the basic zoom-in tool, but we can take this much farther. Let's say we've already zoomed in to this generic region. We can continue to zoom in with the same click and drag procedure as shown before to examine details more closely. Repeat this to get a more regional picture. Zooming in even more, we can see precipitations over several small countries. And we'll zoom in one more time for an even more local picture. 
At this point, you can actually see the individual 4 km by 4 km pixels. If you want to get the data for this screen, click the Get Data icon in the upper right. At this point, the screen you selected is displayed as well as the corresponding coordinates for this area. If you are satisfied, click Submit Coordinates to retrieve the data. This will conclude our brief tutorial on the GeoServer. Now Scott will demonstrate how to retrieve data from the archive. Thank you, Andrea, for that tutorial. For long-term studies, we do archive our data. This data can be accessed on our web page as well. If you scroll to the bottom of our home page, we have a number of links that gain access to our archive data. Clicking on our quarter degree product, you can download each month for a specific year or all the years available. A README file is also provided for each of the data sets, providing just basic information of the data as well as a sample script for loading it into MATLAB. Scrolling down, you can also access our three hourly product. If you're interested in a specific region, we have two tools that might be helpful. The first is a search tool that accesses images for recent precipitation estimates up to 30 days. You can select a region and country and submit a request to gain access to that data. The second tool is a subsetting tool, which allows you to select a desired geographical box and time interval. Once the request is submitted, the data will be provided to you via email. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments.